content strategy. <laughs> that's a, that's one of the things that most people do actually struggle with as well. Um, when they're doing it themselves, they think, oh my God, what content? And they just post random pictures. They don't know what they're doing, but there is a clear strategy and I'm going to sh tell you about that. <laughs> and these are things that I use in my own social media as well. So create a strategy that aligns with your brand firstly, and that resonates with the audience you're talking to. And because that will build the customer loyalty, they want to see more. And so you need to focus on the, this type of st strategy that I'm going to um, tell you right now. So Consistent brand voice. So it's all about maintaining that tone that reflects your brand's personality across all content. So that's the first thing that you have to understand. It has to be the same across everything. So if you are on TikTok or on Instagram together, you know, make sure that the message is the same. Don't change it to something funny and then something really serious on another platform. It's really important to be consistent. Highlight features and benefits with high quality visuals and engaging descriptions as well. Showcase how your products solve problems or improve lives. So video testimonials can be especially powerful as well for this as well. So product showcases are, are key um, when, when you're on social media because your audience wants to see your products and they want to see how it's used. Also, mm -hmm. behind the scenes, you know, using contents behind the scenes, you know, share insights into your team or the product creation and just to humanize your brand a little. And I know a lot of brand owners don't like to be the face of the brand. They don't want to show their face and they say, oh, no, no, it's, you know. So behind the scenes doesn't mean you have to be the person behind the camera on the social media. So, you know, it is like, like I said, product creation, show people maybe using the product or this is how it's created or the design stage or something, or maybe the fact part of the factory that they're making it, um, but, you know, things, you know, that you're doing or somebody that's using it behind the scenes, but you don't have to show your face if you really don't want to either. But it's helpful. People, people are nosy. They want to know what's going on. And then also... They like that stuff. I, I've posted videos of our, we have a fishing rod that we make. And so we've posted videos from the factory of them being made mm -hmm. and, you know, them testing them and... Yeah seeing at what point they break you know how much pressure they can take yeah. and, and yeah. people like that kind of stuff they feel more you know part of the brand like they're involved in the creation of it absolutely it's, it's being transparent and this is what the brand is this is how we've done it and people love that you know it's just you know yeah. it's it's about testing the content as well um leverage your customer testimonials so using real reviews and testimonials to build trust and credibility so that is one thing that people will come back they liked and will buy your products as well through that trust also educational content. So provide how-to guides and tips that add value to your audience. This positions mm -hmm. your brand as helpful resource and builds trust with your audience, as well as what well, we talked about, you know, videos and stuff. So user generated content. So encourage your customers to share experiences with your products on social media and reposting their content shows appreciation and builds community around your brand. People love to be part of a brand and, and what better way to use UGC for your social media. Um, and it comes back to storytelling again. So craft narratives around your brand's mission, vision, and values. So it's about sharing stories that resonate with your audience and align with their values. And then finally, um, it's creating, you know, you need to create a content calendar um, and look at analytics as well. So plan posts for consistency. So you might be planning um, three times a week, you, you know, get a, get a content calendar for the next month, you know, and stories or whatever you want. But it's important that you do map it out and then you can see actually there's a pattern that can repeat. You know, you can rinse and repeat with a different type of um, content in it. Um, but you you just need to refine your, your strategy and use analytics to see that because one post might work better than another post, you know, you know, so it's really depending on what type of content you use. So again, it's it's trial and error with social media, but it, it there's a proven strategy. So these, you know, these will work and it will help you guide you. And it's a good start to look at those to begin with. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this, this would be a whole separate podcast, but, uh, AI can be very helpful with coming up with ideas for these types of things as well and helping you build a content calendar. Absolutely. And I've, I've created something like that as well. I asked them to do two weeks worth of content uh, for the next two months, you know, and it's like, you know, the AI can really help you with, with ideas as well for your brand. So that's really yeah, important. Yeah.